good day and God's blessings to all of you this day. Our gospel reflection comes from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 21, verses 1 through 4. And today's reading centers around Christ witnessing people putting their offerings into the temple treasury. And we're given two pictures, one where wealthy people are giving versus a poor widow. And here the wealthy are giving large sums compared to this poor widow. But Christ is pointing out what it means to truly give and render unto God what is God's. You know, to give this passage maybe a bit more context, just prior to this reading today, at the very end of chapter 20 of St. Luke's Gospel, Christ teaches us that the scribes, who he describes as people who think very highly of themselves, states the following, they devour the houses of widows and as a pretext recite lengthy prayers. So widows and women had no rights to own property during the time of Christ and were often taken advantage of. But here, in spite of all of this, we see this impoverished widow still give to God what is God's. Here she gives from true faith and love versus obligation or show. So our lesson today is not telling us we need to give to the point where we're to be impoverished, but to give to God what is God's. So to the extent possible, we should give an amount to God according to our means. You know, if you can tithe, well, that's great. But if money is short, give what you can, but maybe give your time by volunteering for a ministry to share of your time and talents to augment your contribution. Additionally, we should prioritize our budget accordingly where God is not necessarily at the bottom, but maybe more towards the top. You know, St. Paul writes in his second letter to the Corinthians in chapter 9, Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. You know, when we give from our hearts what is God's, then we truly render unto God what is God's. Well, that's our reflection for today. Let us continue to pray for an end to this pandemic and that these vaccines can get distributed as quickly as possible. Let us also pray for all those who have contracted this virus that they can get well soon. Let us also pray for all the doctors, the nurses, and first responders who are on the front lines with this virus that God gives them the strength to aid all they see. Finally, Let us remember in our prayers all who have died from this virus and their families. Well, may Almighty God bless each and every one of you today. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, have a wonderful day and God bless you.